Let's look at these examples to review how we would divide numbers that contain decimals. Now, it's just kind of a good rule to go by uh, to make the division much easier is to make to make sure that all of our divisors are whole numbers. So let's think how can we make these whole numbers. Now in this example, it is a whole number, so we're not really going to worry about that one. We would divide it like normal. But for the other two, how could we make six tenths a whole number? Well, if I want to move this decimal place over one spot, I could multiply 6 by 10. But I can't just do that to the 6. I would also have to do that to 1 and 2 hundredths. So if I multiply the 6 by 10, 6 tenths by 10, I need to multiply 1 and 2 hundredths by 10. And that would make it 10 and 2 tenths. Now, if I'm wherever that decimal lands in our dividend, we want to just move that decimal point straight up to where it would be located in our quotient. So in this example, I have five hundredths. Well, how could I make five hundredths a whole number? Well, if I want to get this decimal point to move two places, I could multiply five hundredths by a hundred. So if I multiply five hundredths by a hundred, I'd get five. We also have to multiply three by a hundred, which would make it three hundred. And in the last example, we wouldn't really necessarily have to do anything. Just move your decimal spot up.